Hey, to my left is head coach uh, Wes Moore, uh, Akilah Mays, and Aislinn Koenig. Uh, coach, just uh, actually it's a Aislinn Koenig first and then Akilah Mays. Coach, just a brief opening statement and then we'll go to questions. Okay. Um, again, uh, I was worried about uh, getting off to a good start. Obviously, uh, they played yesterday and we didn't. So, uh, uh, sure enough, they came out really really playing well and shooting the ball well. And we got in some early foul trouble. Uh, but I was proud of the way our kids uh, hung in there, kept their confidence, and uh, was able to make a run back and uh, actually take a halftime lead. So um, this team's done that all year as far as uh, bouncing back and keeping their heads up. And uh, obviously, that was big today. Uh, Ace hit a lot of big shots for us. Um, uh, Keela rebounded and scored both uh, right there close to a double-double. So both of these young ladies uh, had uh, had great days as well. Questions and please designate it for, if it's for the coach or the student athletes. Right here on the left, we'll start. Daniel Wilson, Inside Pack Sports. This is for uh, Coach Moore. Um, Tar Heels got up early on you 11-3 to and then um, Y'all took that and ran with it and didn't look back after that. Did you see something like click or like see them flip a switch or was it just something as simple as um, the team hitting their shots? Well, I, you know, I, again, Paris Key's a great player. She came out really hot. Uh, I thought, you know, as the game went on, I thought Kiara Leslie did a nice job. We actually put Ace on her some and had her face guard. Uh, so we tried to mix up our defense some. Uh, but uh, I thought we did a – started doing a little bit better job defending her. And then, as you mentioned, we were able to hit some shots ourselves. We started out kind of slow. And, um, you know, again, uh, this team uh, has a lot of uh, uh, a lot of character. And uh, they keep battling. And uh, they did that today as well, even though we dug a little bit of a hole. Over here on the right on the aisle. My question is for Akila. It was a highly physical game, especially you and Janelle. How were you able to like not let that get to you and, and continue going? Well, for one, I'm a senior, so I know how much it means for me to be on the court. Um, so I just had to keep my composure and not get you know caught up in uh, the things that were going on in the game and things that she said, so yeah. In the back on the left. Dennis Garcia, Ashboro, coach. Chelsea gets two quick fouls, first minute of the game. Is this, and I apologize for not knowing this, was this something you have had to play <laughs> with a few times? What changes on the floor yeah. and your impressions on how they did without her in that first half? Well, I think we probably are used to having to go without her some. Uh, you know, Chelsea plays extremely hard, uh, sometimes uh, maybe uh, too hard, over-aggressive. Um, you know, she probably could help our football team some if we would let her go out there. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, if everybody played as hard as Chelsea, we would be uh, extremely difficult to beat because she lays it out there every day. And But that being said, she's got to be a little smarter and know when to back off. And our team has had to do it several times, and uh, uh, they did a nice job. Uh, Erica Cassell and, uh, you know, D.D. Rogers, both of them are able to come in and, and give us some uh, some good minutes. Over here on the left. Yeah, Wes uh, Kip Coons for the Raleigh News and Observer. Your uh, Wolfpack had a 36-18 advantage points in the paint. What did you tell your bigs going into the game to prepare them that this would be yeah. crucial in, you know, today? Well, we've, we've got a lot of confidence in Akila and Chelsea and, and our other post players. Um, and I think this year that's been a point of emphasis to get post touches um, you know, I just feel like it's kind of like football. You have to have a, a running game to set up your passing game. And I think uh, when you can get the ball inside and score or get to the free throw line, I think it makes a big difference. And uh, so we want to play inside out. It doesn't always work that way, uh, but uh, that's what we want to do. And, again, I think a big part of it is we've got two seniors, like I said, in Aquila and Chelsea who uh, are uh, very, very good scorers around the rim. Over here on the right of the aisle. Hey, Daniel Lacey with Pack Pride. My question is for Ace. Um, you guys outscored them 36 to 18 in the paint. How does that help you like, open up the floor to make those threes? Uh, well, I think that when the post players are drawing the defense in, it really makes the other team have to 
collapse in and help defend on the post, which opens up threes. And then once we get into rhythm, I think it comes a little bit easier from the outside as well. Any more questions? You're on the back on the left. It's uh, Tim Nash, the Greensboro News and Record. For either player or both, what's it like for you when Chelsea gets in foul trouble? And how do you have to adjust? You want to say it or? Well, for me, that's like my partner. So when I don't have her on the floor, um, sometimes a, a lot of the pressure, instead of uh, being split between us, um, it can go on me. So having her on the floor, like especially for rebounding, I can trust her to go get defensive rebounds and things like that um, while I'm boxing out. And um, also to uh, help defend. So that's a really big thing, having her on the court. But, you know, when we <laughs> when she gets in – Foul trouble early, um, it, it kind of disrupts us a little bit. But um, like Coach says, we're able to, uh, you know, come in together as a team and make up for that. And she'll be well rested tomorrow. <laughs> so that's <laughs> another plus. Over here on the right. For Coach, um, you guys lost to Duke the first time, but that kind of sparked a turning point in your season. You've only lost two games since then. What's different this time around? Well, uh, obviously we're – as coaches say, we're one game at a time. Uh, assistants have been putting together the scout on Duke. I was able to watch the uh, Duke and Carolina game, uh, clip it uh, from a week ago. So got a little head start on them, but uh, really have to watch the film. You know, Duke, uh, uh, they play a lot of zone defenses and mix that up on you. Uh, so you have to really uh, be patient and and uh, take what they give you. And then uh, from a defensive standpoint, they got some great shooters. Uh, and then Lexi Brown just lit us up uh, when we were over there last time. So hopefully we can figure out a way to at least slow her down a little bit. Rebecca, Rebecca Greenwell's a uh, veteran player for them that's a really good shooter. So uh, it's going to be important. We've also uh, we got to get back to rebounding the ball. Uh, we won the rebound battle today by a few, but uh, that's been a strength of ours, uh, the, as you mentioned, these last 12, 14 games, whatever. So we need to make sure we get back to uh, to doing the things we were doing well early. So, uh, again, I, I am proud of those because we started out one and three in the ACC, and the Duke game was one of those. And uh, since then, we have uh, really – uh, gathered ourselves and, and played well. So hopefully we can do that tomorrow. Over here in the second row on the left. This question's for uh, Keela. Uh, considering, uh, excuse me, obviously uh, you and Chelsea are the faces of the front court, um, but uh, Erica put up a solid performance today, six points, ten boards. With the added fact that both you and Chelsea will not be here for the next season, how well do you think that uh, Erica has come into her own and uh, the progress of her moving forward? Oh, well, I'm really proud of Erica. I tell her that um, every every day that um, she can be a really good scorer. She rebounds very well. And I just encourage her, you know, moving forward to keep that, you know, momentum going and to keep that confidence up. That's really something that she'll need going into next year, you know, when me and Chelsea are gone. So uh, I personally have um, great respect for her, and I think that she'll do a really good job next year. Any more questions? Thanks, Coach. Thank you all.